Good evening, folks, or uh, good day, I should say, whichever it is for you. I've been totally obsessed with uh, modifications on what you can do as far as like hang on the back filters, um, DIY overhead sumps. I've just been totally obsessed with aquaponics, and I know I'm not the only one because uh, everyone's constantly thinking about hacks and what they can do to their filters and so forth. I, I thought I'd share this cool video. Uh, it's kind of a hack using a hang on the back breeder tank and you can get these on Amazon for like 10 bucks or no I think they're like $14.99 or something but uh, anyways uh, this hangs on the side of your tank as per obviously um, actually what I'm gonna do is flip the camera here I'm gonna jump into this and just show you guys the hack and what's cool about this is these usually use like an airline to pump up water into them and they're absolutely brilliant as far as holding fry or uh, a fish that's too aggressive and you just want it to be out of the tank for a while. Um, but in this case, what you could use it for is, uh, I think the best, would, the best method would be to throw some plants in there because this method uses a really slow flow that is actually stolen from your hang on the back filter. And uh, you don't need any airlines to power this. That's all you need is a little hose and you're just gonna use gravity and steal the water that the pump from the hang on the back filter is using. So it's basically hijacking some of the flow from your hang on the back and you can just uh, put it next to your hang on the back and utilize it as more filtration or uh, aquaponics, put plants in there, etc. cetera. Uh, I'm gonna quit blabbing here, flip the camera, uh, this is a really cool setup. I've been doing it on a bunch of tanks because uh, it's awesome. So yeah, let's flip the cam. All right, here is the box. I actually just ordered one and got it in the mail here via Amazon Prime. If you're looking to buy one of these, they are brilliant. I will throw a link in the description box below. Here it is set up on the side of this tank. And basically what I have done is used a little air line that's jumping off of the flow of this hang on the back filter and just by gravity it is flowing into this little breeder box and it's not it's not the most flow in the world but as far as like plants would go this would be really good or uh you know you could utilize this in a lot of different ways and if you wanted to use a bigger hose it would obviously increase the flow rate so um, it's it's a really cool idea uh, What I'm gonna do here is throw some plants in here some pathos or something and uh, Let them grow and just get a little bit of flow Because I if you think about it the longer they sit in here You know the more nitrates they can feed on and etc. And you're still kind of getting that flow I'm gonna show you guys how to get this flow going basically you just submerge the entire hose into the tank here and hold the end just like any other siphon we all know how to do this and you can see the flow right here and uh, my next line of thought was is this gonna steal too much flow from the hang on the back filter to where you know the bio wheel in this instance isn't gonna move but that's not the case because I've been I've had this running for quite some time and the flow is small enough to where it doesn't even reflect the bio wheel from spinning. So, as you can see, the bio wheel is spinning. This is what it usually comes with, and these do work well with an airline, but that's an airline I have to steal from one of my tanks because, you know, I could have a sponge filter in a tank as f in comparison to just using this method, you know? I'd rather have an airline in a tank cutting down on you know filtration in that manner than this when this works just as well so let me know what you guys think if you have any ideas maybe you could better this idea the flow is really slow yes but as far as plants goes that might be great so 